Hello, this is not a spring chicken. How do you know when you put your foot in your mouth? Well, if you ask the president, what they thought that the Republic, excuse me, the Republicans had a war on women. What about if you have a war on stay-at-home moms? Oops. Well, for now, we're going to bring old Kim on with comments on the headlines of today. So we have another down day on Wall Street because, of course, there's no inflation. Oh yeah, the people don't know where this man lives. I mean, I have to cover Rex's ear because Rex worships. He's like Bill O'Reilly worships the ground the president walks on. He, they think the president is clueless about the things. He doesn't go to the grocery store, probably never has, doesn't buy gas, probably never has, and we know that most of his people who work for him don't drive cars. So he they, they don't know that grocery just keep going up, gas just keeps going up, and, um, and this is why the whole country says the nation is going the wrong direction, and why once again Mitt Romney is leading him in all the polls beyond the amount of uh, statistical uh, distance. So they don't want they don't want Romney, and they don't want Obama. So you could end up with a third party candidate this year, folks. And Obama's done talking about the Trayvon Martin case. Uh, well, not, not as long as he keeps talking that he's done with it. Mm -hmm. They keep asking, well, I can't say anything. And then they say, well, didn't you say enough that caused the problem? And they said, I can't talk about the case anymore. But they, they're doing nothing but bring it up because, the, you know, it, he basically, to, he was using a political moment, and there's a good possibility that um, his Eric Holder may end up in a jail cell when this presidency is over because of the fact that he had decided to use the uh, Justice Department as a bully pulpit on black power. And Buffett tax, now officially the Romney tax, but it has nothing to do with the campaign. I know. I mean, Of course. That, 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 I know this is why it's a bad day for Rex, because how can they say it has nothing to do with the campaign when all of his staffers and Biden are on the road calling it the Romney tax, that we have to fairly tax people like Mitt Romney? But the problem was Mitt Romney paid more in taxes last year than Barack Obama made. And Barack Obama is a multimillionaire just like Mitt Romney. Oh, folks, the multimillionaire president of the United States, we don't want to do this, paid $167,000 in taxes on all of those millions he made. Uh, it, all you got to do is to go back and figure out how much he made. It didn't come to 30%. Uh, no, no, we're close. And he didn't, uh, he's not volunteering to pay more taxes. Of course, everybody else is, right? Yeah, they're all wanting to pay more taxes. Everybody knows that two-thirds of the millionaires in this country, which only amounts to 22,000, folks. 22,000 people, as Senator Schumer, is not going to balance the budget. But do you have, I love it. You have to start taxing someone, so we tax them, and then we're going to have to tax the people that have the, that have the money to pay the bills. So they could stop spending. And rare, unexplained daytime fireball scorches the Texas sky. Yeah, it's called a contrail. Uh, it's caused the sun, you know, when the sun goes through an airplane's contrail, it basically makes it look like it's a fireball. Mm -hmm. It was really no news, but then again, when you have no news, you make your own news. And Obama losing support among stay-at-home mothers and now supports Ann Romney, but won't fire the staffer. I know, isn't that a good one? He said it was an unfortunate choice of words. No, it wasn't an unfortunate choice of words because this is their attitude. They said that um, if you won't hire an illegal alien to be a babysitter for your child so you can go out and make the money to pay for the illegal alien to be the babysitter for your child, you're not a true woman. Isn't that amazing? I, you know, I, I, um, anybody remember the great liberal Democrat uh, by the name of Julia Roberts, who basically quit working for a while so that she could take care of her kids? How about Celine Dion, who quit for years so she could take care of her kids? How about all of these well-known Democrats that quit working so they could stay at home with their children? Mm -hmm. I mean, uh, what's his name? Pat Dauber. Uh, let's see, Mark Harmon's wife quit working entirely to take care of their children. All of these women that basically worshipped the ground that, uh, that Franklin Delano Roosevelt walked on have all quit their jobs to take care of their children and basically the president slammed every single one of them when he refused to fire the little witch that basically made the comments. But according to, to Veta Grant Sustin, who never actually read, the, never actually saw the videotape well, I'm a close friend of hers, and she would have never said anything like that. 
and how to predict Mitt Romney's campaign running mate, or, or actually his running mate. Because he's going to probably go with the guy Ryan, you know, because Ryan is from a state that allows you to run for office, run for uh, office and still uh, run for vice president at the same time. That's the whole trick. You don't want to pick a guy that's going to lose their house or senate seat. <laughs> yeah, that would be kind of tricky, huh? That's right. And Which means, see, part of it is you pick them because you need that state and you want strong support, but if they're going to lose it, it doesn't do you any good. That's right. And once you go hybrid, it seems you can go back. Yeah, that uh, over 67% of the people that have bought hybrids would never buy another one. And nine out of ten people that own cars would never buy a hybrid to begin with. And most of the hybrids that are being sold are being bought by the United States government, who is producing the hybrid. Amazing. And Norway shooter Anders Breivik regrets not going further. Okay, that's how you tell when you got a fruitcake, folks. Is when they're they're in a society that basically doesn't believe in gun violence. He kills a whole bunch of people and wants to kill more. But then again, you have to understand he also is a follower of that faith you must not mention because if you do, it gets you in trouble. And, and it's not Jews or Christians. And Obama voters face stark contrast since 1964 race. Well, yeah, basically that uh, these people, would today the Republican Party would consider Ronald Reagan a socialist. No, Ronald Reagan cut taxes, he cut spending. The, Ronald Reagan was the founder of the modern Republican Party. It all had to do with stopping spending. But certainly Reagan increased spending, but his increased spending led to more jobs because trickle down actually does work because if the businesses have, have more money to spend, they generally spend it because they want to manufacture things. Okay, under Obama's uh, covers, here's again, go look at the shelves in the grocery stores, go look at the shelves in the apartment stores, go to the, the appliance stores and see how many vacant spots they are because they're not reordering for the simple fact no one has any money to buy the merchandise. And tax day may drive up fatal crash rates. Well, it's, you know, why it's like, have you done your taxes today? It's got, it's got to do with the people hurrying to go pay their taxes and they have tax. You know, because they, they, instead of doing what they should do is just ask for an extension, they sit there and try to hurry to get it in. I know, just do your, get an extension. They don't charge you anything, I don't think, for asking No, for I mean, what do they do? You have to file estimates with your tax stuff. Yep. Yeah, and oh, you have to fill out the form. Yeah, and you have to fill out a form and that, and you send that in, so. I know, it seems a whole lot easier. You can do it online, too. And man shoots himself in heart with nail and gun and lips. <coughs> okay, I always with wonder. With nail, nail and gun or a nail a gun? A nail handgun. Okay, in order to shoot yourself with a handgun, with a nail gun, it's got to be pointed towards yourself. I, I've known people that played and shot themselves in the foot. But, I mean, okay. In your heart? I yeah, mean. No. I worked on an episode of a, of a show um, on, on emergency where the actor Robert Shane, he was from the Superman series, was basically shot in the heart with a nail gun because what happened was a nail gun was, what you never do is you don't point it up. He laid it upside down with the, the trigger up and the gun pointed outward and his wife tossed the thing on top of the thing and she shot, the, she, she tossed the deal to him, missed because she had an arm like a female. And it triggered, it set the trigger off and the bullet, the, the nail hit him in the heart. And, uh, you know, what made it even funnier was he had a pacemaker, he had his pacemaker dead center, so if he hadn't hit the pacemaker, he was dead, so. And Obama honors to kill a mockingbird. Oh, yeah, you know how he honored to kill a mockingbird? They removed Greg Peck's opening. Are you serious? The ultimate, the ultimate liberal Democrat was Gregory Peck, so. They re-recorded an opening with Obama removing Gregory Peck and the little girl making a speech. Girl, little girl is a partisan Democrat. Actually, I think she's a congressman. They took all of that out at the beginning so Obama could do the introduction instead of uh, those those great Democrats. And Gingrich defends a $500 bounce check to Utah elections office. Well, unfortunately, there's a lot of checks being bounced by politicians. If you bounce, they, uh, this is why politicians end up with $20, $30 million debts. It's because they always spend more money than they have. Boy, that sounds like somebody else I know. Yep. <laughs> and <laughs> a Monty bubble is, oh, ex-Best Buy CEO is being investigated over personal conduct. That's what they do nowadays when you run a company into the ground it's obviously 
the real reason you were fired wasn't because you ran into the ground, it's because you were having a personal conflict in office. Mm -hmm. And a Monty bubbleism from the, Mon uh, from the Mark Twain of the Animal Kingdom. That, um, uh, okay, even the young get tired and have to go to sleep.